Hello everyone. Welcome to another Java session. In this video, we will see what is polymorphism, what is runtime and compile time polymorphism. Then we will implement both using method overloading and method overriding. And in the end, we will see one important interview question which is being asked for uh, all Java related jobs. So without any further delay, let's start. Polymorphism means having many forms in simple words, the ability of a component to behave differently in different situations. It allows us to define one interface and have multiple implementation for the same. Polymorphism is of two types, compile time and runtime. Compile time polymorphism is achieved through method overloading and runtime uh, polymorphism is achieved through method overriding. Now let's discuss both of these uh, types in detail. Compile time polymorphism is also known as static polymorphism. So when an object binding with method happens at the compile time, that is known as compile time polymorphism. It is achieved through uh, function overloading or method overloading. Now let's see an example of method overloading. So method overloading is when there are multiple functions with the same name but with different parameters then these functions are said to be overloaded functions. Functions can be overloaded by changing in the number of arguments or change in the type of arguments. Now let's check uh, method overloading with an example. So this is my method overloading class where I have an empty uh, main method. So now suppose I have created this multiply method which what it will it is just printing uh, whatever components I'm passing, whatever arguments I'm passing. It is just multiplying them and printing on the console. Now in the main class, I can directly call this method because I have declared it static so that I can be able to call it from the main method. So this is how it will look like. I'm calling multiply method and passing five and nine as integers because this specific method accept only integers. So now let's try to run this and see what is the output. So if we run this Java as a Java application, we can see five into nine forty five. So this is how it will work. Now, how to overload this specific method? Currently, I have a method which is only accepting integers. So suppose I want to multiply uh, double numbers also. So what I can do, I can create another multiply method. But if you see the number, uh, the type of argument is different. So here it is accepting uh, variables of type double. So how can I call this specific method? Uh, I can call it like multiply and I will pass uh, the arguments as double. So in the second case, if you see uh, this second multiply the overloaded method will be called. It will not call the integer one. It will call the method which is accepting double as parameters. Let's create one more method with the same name multiply, but it is accepting three integer uh, arguments. So in this way, it is multiplying all these integers and printing it on the console. Now, uh, how we can call it to call this specific uh, method, we can directly uh, say multiply and pass the three values. So we can pass two, three and four. So uh, in this case, this will actually uh, call the method present at line number 10. So if you see the method name is same, only difference is uh, in the type of arguments and the number of arguments. So based on the call, it will call that specific method. Now to see how exactly the execution is happening, I have applied the breakpoints in all the methods and at the starting line of uh, main method also. So now just uh, let's try to debug it as a Java application. So it will open it in the uh, debugging prospectus. Okay, so execution started. It is currently on the multiply nine and five so here we are expecting it should go to the first method itself so now let's uh, do a step over and we can see the call goes to the first method because integers were passed now let's do another step over and we can see 45 is printed uh, let's go next so next is uh, multiply with the arguments of double so it should go to the second method 
so as we can see uh, the control has shifted to the second method so similarly if we step over and see in the last one in the last call it has called the method multiply method where there were three parameters required so in that way you can see it has printed the desired output this is how method overloading works so all these kind of bindings which are happening these are happening at the compile time itself next is runtime polymorphism it is also known as dynamic method dispatch it is a process in which a function call to the overridden method is resolved at the runtime this is achieved through method overriding so what is method overriding when implementation of a parent class method is present in one of its child class then the parent class method is known as overridden method now let's see we have this uh, parent class and in our parent class we have a display method which is just printing out parents display method uh, parents display in the console now suppose we have one of its a child so let's try to extend it it is extending the parent class and now let's try to overwrite that display method here so there are multiple ways you can directly type it also but uh, your ide will also provide you a feature for overriding the extended uh, uh, classes methods so just right click on that go to source and here you can see override or implement methods so here it will tell you what you can implement so as objects this is the base class of all the objects we are extending the parent class and here we have display method to extend so i can select it and it will add a normal block here uh, method block itself so i will delete these lines and specifically i will print like this is the display method of child class so yeah that's it with this we have overridden the display method which is present in parent class as we have provided its own implementation for the child class now uh, in our main class where we have the main method let's try to make object of parent class and call this the display method of that parents class itself so here you can see i have a reference of parent class as well as it is pointing to the object of a parent class so i'm expecting the display method of parent class should be called so here you can see parents display is called so similarly if i have reference of uh, parent class but instead of pointing it to parent i am pointing it to child class objects so what it will do as we have an implementation or the overridden display method present in child so it will call the display method of child not the parent class so let's try to run it and see the output so here you can see on the second time it is uh, on the second object it is calling child's display method so this is how uh, runtime polymorphism is achieved using method overriding now let's see one very important question which is asked in most of the java interviews so they will ask you what is method overloading and method overriding and what is the main difference between them so now let's discuss a few of the differences that we have method overloading is a compile time polymorphism and method overriding on the other hand is a runtime polymorphism that means that uh, linking of the methods will happen at the compile time for method overloading but it will happen at the runtime for method overriding next is uh, method overloading increases the readability of program so as you can see it in the same class we can have multiple methods with the different arguments but in case of uh, overriding it is actually used to grant the specific implementation of the method which is already present in its parent class or super class so in a way we can say like a method overloading can only happen in within the same class but the condition for method overriding is it has to be performed between two different classes as inheritance is involved next is uh, for method overloading uh, you may or may not require inheritance but it is a must property for method overriding because overriding can only be done from uh, parent to child methods only 
one major difference is uh, that in method overloading methods must have same name and different signatures but in case of method overriding methods must have same name and same signatures so if the signature is different in case of method overriding then the parent class method is not considered as overridden method last one is in method overloading the return type can or cannot be same but we just need to have a different parameters for that but in case of method overriding the return type must be same or covariant uh, here covariant return type refers to return type of an overriding method it allows to narrow down the return type of an overridden method without any need to cast the type or check the return type so uh, these are the major differences between method overloading and method overriding uh, that's it for this video if you like it please do like share and subscribe and in case of any suggestions please do comment thanks for watching see you next time